This is LA Baby Granny 618. We're finna talk to my um Tauruses. How are y'all doing? It's your turn to get um your reading for the week. We're gonna talk about it, Taurus. Are you ready to talk about it? Because you know I'm gonna give you the one 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 and the say say say. And how is everybody? I hope everybody's well. Hope y'all doing great and lovely. Also, remember to like this video, comment, because, you know, comments don't be on there, but, you know, YouTube. But I want to tell you, thank you for joining me. Will you at least like the video so it can spread around? I can get myself around if y'all would help me out. Or if you'd like to help the channel, you can donate to the channel. Is it going to be in my bio? Where to send, you know, if you wanted to put a few chains. I'm not really a person of, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because I'm trying to help people you know, with their lives every day for now. But thank you. Here we go. We're going to get started with my Taurus, okay? Well, Taurus, you got on the moonology, you got nothing as yet said a course. Other than a um, mutable moon. Mutual, mutual moon. Okay, we're going to put that right there. Hope you can see that. And we're going to talk about it. So bear with me. I'm put my see if y'all see it. Okay, here we go. Basically, this means in tune to the moon, attuned to. The, I know that that the best will be unfolded for me. Okay, and then it's basically you're you're meanering towards goals that okay, that's okay. Stay as um adaptable. Uh, adaptable. Excuse me. And stay adaptable to the key to success for you now, Taurus. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to focus. Stay with it. Whatever it means to do to you. And basically, the mutual moon is a sign of uh, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. And when the moon is one of these, you know there's going to be flexible in situations. Anytime you pull this card, it suggests there's an opportunity to keep visualizing uh, and informing what you want as there's still room for change. So think about what you want and enjoy the daydreaming. They want you to think about what you want and enjoy the day. Ain't nothing wrong with daydreaming. It actually helps your mind to develop what you're trying to do. You know, everybody goes to it. But next, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. See what the cards have to say. I pulled the lover's card. Some of you may or may not have a romance or some of you may have two lovers uh, that you're trying to side with and you're playing both sides. Come on, Taurus. Go on with that. If that's true, are you trying to be, you know, in a relationship and you are such and such? So I asked, what's the deal with this relationship? Um, what's this concerning to the two lovers? Okay, the next card I got was... Uh, the Queen of Staffs in reverse. This Queen of Staff is usually a water sign. Okay. The Queen of Staff is very dishonest and spoiled and sometimes just selfish and need to be really uh, addressed in this relationship. That's what the problem is. It's a lot of uh, and very dishonest and disloyal. So this Queen of Staffs is being in the reverse, is telling you that basically I rule this situation. This water sign. But, you know, I'm going to leave that alone. But anyway, the only thing about it is stressing you out in this relationship because you're starting to have nightmares and you have problems, stressful times sleeping due to a lot of stress with this person of the Nine of Swords. It got you really stressed and, and really not of a good sort. The next you got the Death card. I asked was you going to get out of this, try to get out of this situation. It basically says you're going to stay, you're, you're trying to stay in this situation. You're not willing to uh, direct yourself in another episode. In other words, you're not, uh, you have a lack of direction and desire to stay and to remain in a bad situation with this queen of staff. This queen of staff is very selfish, treats you very, you know, not what you deserve, Taurus. But anyway... We have this uh, eight of coins in reverse. Some of you may be experiencing layoffs, may not, or you may just uh, put in simple words: you walked off a job, 
or some of you got fired, some of you are having problems with money and finding another job. It's a complicated thing. So whatever you did there caused you the drama that's going on too because this person is, you know, a warrior and they're all hysterical about things, this queen of stacks. But anyway, you have the five of swords came out. This in reverse means there's some ultimate shame about this job situation about uh, being laid off or the money be flow being funny. Uh, you have it, you're not feeling your best about it. You're not loving it at all. It's kind of like um, weighing on you real, you know, real bad. And then this person, the eight of, well, you have the eight of swords in reverse. This person is queen of staff. She's very, she has embarrassed you in public. She's, this person has really embarrassed you. They cause a lot of uh, stuff in this relationship. They want to rule it. So by you losing your job or whatever happened to the job, Taurus, this person, the queen of staffs, is very un... Just don't care about how and what you should have was and should have could have. They're not with that. They're just about themselves, can be very selfish, and sometimes dishonest. So you have to understand that that's who they are. And sometimes they couldn't tell the truth if you paid them. But anyway, and that's allegedly, I don't want nobody to shoot the message and say, oh, she's talking about me. No, I'm just telling you what I see. But anyway, we're going to pull some extra cards. Here we go. What else would you like to tell me concerning this situation? Some of you need to learn forgiveness in your life. They want you to learn how to forgive and go on and be more positive. Don't let the see if you live in the bad in the past where you feel like everybody owes you and owes you this, but you don't owe nothing. And before you don't want to forgive, you don't want to you don't want to budge. And that's not good to not forgive people because people you make mistakes and and forgiveness has got to be there. You have to learn to have some compassion in this world because yes, it can be you showing vulnerability. But there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable with forgiveness to me. You know what I'm saying? It says, you know, basically we, we never forgive others, only ourselves for having judged them. You get it? This may be time of family hearing. Can I forgive myself for loving people who hurt me? That's what you need to ask yourself. Wishing fulfillment, holding on to a dream, past wounding, belonging, self-forgiveness, fulfillment. Basically, it's example, the Rana tried, tried, true essence lies in not harboring resentment. She transcends forgiveness because her focus is on her intentions, not on the pain that she feels. So a lot of you Taurus feel like you're not very forgiving. You really could care less to forgive people. They have to really, for you to apologize, it takes like pulling teeth. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the dentist. <laughs> That's just the way it is with Taurus. They, they're right and everybody's wrong. It's kind of similar to the, I say Aries and Taurus. They're, they're really something else. Um, what else would you like to tell uh, my Taurus is, this could possibly be happening this week's period. Let's see. There's going to be some growth in your family. They're saying there's going to be some growth. Uh, there's an outstanding growth going on around you. Um, that you're trying to, you're trying to get it together, you know, growth. Um, your message is best expressed when you are eagerly you, when you try to be you. What have I outgrown? Am I willing to become independent? That's what you need to ask yourself. When it comes to overgrowth in your home, taking a stand, living your truth, lack of safety, clashes, value, teaching, Teaching by example, warrior, peace, and courage. You have all those, you know. Grass says break away. It may be time for the change of scenery. Visit our foreign country, embark on new entries, in, you know, inter enterprises, or learn a skill must be important to grow. You have to, to grow, to make overgrowth, you need to go to school. You need to put your mind into it and get to it. Some people don't have to go to school to do that. But you know what I'm saying? You have to put your time in. And then the growth, it will expand for you, Taurus. But you have to do your share, too. Anything else you'd like to tell?
toys for the next uh, couple of days. It could be going down, going down. What else would you like to tell us? Okay, let's see what this was. Expansion. Some of you may be trying to um, expand your family, make you uh, get pregnant, or some of you are trying to expand in businesses. Some of you are trying to um, explore your options. You know, you want to more, you know, you'll see it when you believe it. In other words, how can I create powerful alliances or new people entering my life? Wise course, fruitful, spiritual support, state of uncertainty, being guided, counseling, connecting process. Seeking good advice is vital when you are pushing in new territories. Stay away from anyone who is critical of your dreams. This indicates possible change in your friends. If anybody feels negative about you expanding your life or expanding what you're doing, hey, just like this, you can hit the door. The door is right there. You imagine that door and you can hit it. You don't got to put up with none of that. Remember, you make your dreams and you make your destination. If your destination is to be sitting or why on a desk, you make that destination. If you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be, you have to put in the time. Remember, the time has to be done. In some cases, it depends on what you're trying to do. Now, if you're just trying to make a business, everybody don't have to have this certificate for this. And since if there's people doing businesses online, you just got to know how to wire tell. You got to know how to, sl you know, sling it. You just have to know how to productively put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Whatever product you're trying to put out. But it's a perfect time to think about what you're wanting, Taurus. You need to put it in mind. Time is just not... You can't wait forever and don't think, Oh, I got a lot of time. Time is short. Tomorrow's not promised to me. And it's not promised to you or anyone here listening. So you have to live your best life, you know. Live it to what you feel. Stop worrying about what other feel. It's not about me, them. It's about you. What do you want to do and how you want to do your life? You make the story. Remember that. Nobody makes a story for you. You make your own story. If you want to go out with a bang, then you go out with like, hey, I did this and I did everything I want to do. If it's explore the country, then it's what you do. But remember, you always got to remember there's a catch to everything in life. And that's allegedly because I don't want no problems. Everything has a catch to it. It just depends on what you're willing to put up with and what you want to take. You know, if you want to be somebody this, you're going to have to do something for this. You're going to, you have to work extremely hard to get what you want towards. You can't, and you have to have a forgiving sometimes your enemies because they will be your, you know, your footstool. It's what I was told when I was a kid. So why run around hating and being unforgiving? Because that's not going to do you no good, but hold you back in your growth. Remember, you have to put in the time and you got to have the patience and you got to go for it. You can't sit back and, oh, I wish I should have, could have. That's too late. People think they get old, they can't do nothing. No, you can do things right from your home. If it's just talking to people, people choose to not expand to their self. They choose not to put themselves out there. They choose not to help each other. And that's not the way of life. I've learned from a lot of older people more than I've learned from young people when I was growing up. And I choose to hang around old people because their stories were so similar to what's going on with my situation or your situation. But the problem is they feel like they're old and they never was never was young and don't know what they're talking about. But I'm going to tell you something. Old people will guide you the right way, whether you want to. And that's not disrespectful. That's just being wise. But that's all I got to say to you, Taurus. And all I want to tell you is... Learn to forgive and move on. Get your expansion. Get what you want in life. Stop sitting floating on. And some of you have less money, so you're going to have to work with less hours. And you're going to have to make that work until something better comes. And it's coming. You just got to have the um, the heart and think positive. And if some of you got two lovers, remember the other feelings of the other person. Would you want somebody to do you like that? Because sometimes some people are cool with it, but they don't know what's going on. So that's not cool to me. I feel like if you're going to be doing dirt, then you, you tell it like it is. 
You ain't got nothing to hide. Because once you get caught, it's going to tear somebody up. And then you're going to break their heart. And you're going to, whatever can break out. So remember, if you want people to treat you with respect, you got to give it. Just like they got to give it to you. Because it's, it's just the way the world is. And I want to tell y'all, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Hope I didn't offend nobody. And I hope everybody have the blessed and wonderful evening or morning. Whatever time you see this. And thank you. And God bless y'all all. Bye-bye. Remember, like, share.